Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am so sorry that I haven't posted in weeks and a part of the reason why I wasn't posting was because I got my phone taken because I wasn't doing my online homework. But now the school year is almost over and I'm still a little bit behind, but I'm gonna catch up. And once it's summer, I can dedicate myself even more to my YouTube, opening up my online shop, posting more on Instagram and working on my TikTok a lot more. So, all in all, I have a lot planned for the summer. This is a mermaid drawing. It is no longer May anymore, so you can tell how old this video is. But I think this is my mermaid day four drawing. And the theme was it the theme of this one was loss or death or something like that. And she's a queen. She's the queen of the jellyfish mermaids. And some other mermaid harpoon gunned her, shot her. I don't know why there's that big of a hole and no blood or anything. I think I just did it to be dramatic, honestly. But, yeah. Oh, no, the theme for this one was opal. If you see, there's, like, an opal on her forehead. And there's, like, light coming from it. I don't know how I took that theme and made this, to be honest. But, yeah. And I also played with, like, a little sheer effect on the top and on, like, the dress. And to make, like, the jellyfish tail... I actually combined two different types of jellyfish, so that was fun. Quick art tip, always reference. And I know a lot of you guys have stylized drawings and you don't do realism, just like me. But even though I don't do realism and some of you guys don't do realism, you should still be using references for the things that you are making. It'll improve your art so much. All you have to do is make sure you credit your references. That is so important because... I think a lot of the times people forget that photography is also an art, so crediting like the pictures people take is also really important too. Throughout Mermaid, I was really pushing myself to do backgrounds, not full backgrounds, but just have some sort of environment to ground the character. And my style is really changing and I see a lot more backgrounds in my future. Um, I actually started a drawing with this really cool background and I've just gotten so into doing backgrounds like they used to make me miserable but now I love them so much and I feel like they really pull together a piece. I used to just draw a character in the middle of nowhere and it didn't really capture what I wanted in my art because one of my main inspirations is Disney, um, the 2D Disney, not the 3D version that I have now but the kind of nostalgic old like Sleeping Beauty, Snow White, that sort of era of Disney. Even though I don't really like those princesses, the reason why I love those movies so much is because of the villains, but I love the way they do the backgrounds in those sh um, films and I love how the backgrounds are super detailed and they don't have any liner or anything like that and then they have a sort of simple character. I love that combination so I really want to try applying that to my art more and when I have been doing that, I've been a lot more happy with the outcome of my art. I've also been pushing myself to do side profiles because for the longest time, I would only draw a head straight on or at a three quarters angle. And then I never did side profiles. And then when I tried to one time, I realized how bad I was at it. And so I started practicing and I stopped practicing. And then it would just be this on off thing that I never actually solidified the skill of drawing a side profile and now I feel like I have it down pretty well I still feel like when I draw side profiles doesn't match my style but I'm working on it and I have a lot of other artists who are inspiring me to do side profiles and I feel like in the future there's going to be some really big shifts in my style obviously my style is going to change as like time goes on but I feel like there's going to be some really big changes, especially soon, because there's so much I want to do with my art, and I feel like my current style restricts me in a lot of ways, and I'm ready to evolve and develop, and I feel like I always go through this period where in the fall, I hate my art, and then in the springtime, my style changes and I start liking it again, and then I coast through the summer, and I love my art style, and then October comes and I get in this awful art block. And that's always when October is. 
And if you don't know what Inktober is, it's a monthly art challenge. I forget who it was started by, but basically during the month of October, you do drawings based off of a prompt list and you only use ink. It's super fun, but because I always have art block during the fall, I never actually get to experience an enjoyable Inktober. And I usually always quit. I mean, I, I always have quit. I've never gone through an Inktober, but yeah. And I don't think I ever will because that's just how my drawing cycle is. So maybe one day I will be able to, but it is what it is. Anyways, before this video ends, I just want to let you guys know that if you want to see more of my artwork, more of my mermaid drawings, you can go to my Instagram. I have some really good high quality pics there. My Instagram is drawings by Alexander and it will also be in my description. Also, if you want to get more day-to-day -day content from me, I post three times a day on TikTok. And my TikTok, which is Alexander Draws, will be in the description too. And I will soon be opening an Etsy shop because I know a lot of you guys want to buy prints from me. And I'm so excited to start selling and making money. And I've already invested over $200 into my printmaking process. So I'm excited to start making some money back. So if you go to my Instagram and you see something you like and you want a print of it, just let me know because I have a select few drawings that I'm making prints of. So if there's a drawing that you like that I'm not making prints of, just let me know and I will make a special print for you. And also when I'm shipping out my orders, I'll be throwing in other prints and freebies and small little drawings that I have lying around because I have tons of like little pieces of paper with drawings and stuff like that. So I just want to let you guys know that is soon to come and I'm super excited. I also want to remind you guys that if you want some art critiques from me or if you just want to send me your art just so I can see it, then feel free to. My Instagram DMs are always open. And I want to remind you guys that my art classes will be coming back, my free Zoom ones. So that's something to look forward to. I'm going to start those up after I'm done with school. This is my last week. I'm done on Friday. So hopefully I will get all my work done. I won't lose my phone. My parents will kill me. And I can start my Zoom art classes again. I'm going to do it in a different format. And I'm not going to do them every day. I think I'm going to do it like twice a week. I'm going to do a beginner class and an advanced class. So there's less people on each Zoom. And it can be more personal and stuff. So if that sounds like something you're interested in. Just follow my TikTok. Keep an eye out. And I will definitely be posting updates about that. So, yeah, and if you went to them last time and you like them, tell a friend. Maybe they'll enjoy. I know one of my followers did my art class with their dad and they sent me the picture of the final result on Instagram and it was the sweetest thing ever. I actually really like how this drawing came out, which surprised me because I did not think I would like this color combination. Even though it's blue, green, and yellow, which is kind of basic, it's just a little bit bright for me. Well, I like it, but it's just not what I usually do because I try to go for a more desaturated color scheme now. I used to use really bright colors and now I'm trying to shift back towards my desaturated ways because I feel like it gives my drawings a much more nostalgic feeling. And that's another thing I'm trying to do in my art style. I'm trying to make it feel a lot more nostalgic because I like that feeling, so. I want you guys to look at some of my drawings and I want to remind you of things in your childhood or a show you watched or just something like that. I don't really know. I'm just rambling now. Hopefully you guys like the video. I just want to remind you guys that I post on Wednesdays and Sundays when I have my stuff together. So uh, you guys should be expecting a video on Sunday maybe that's maybe pushing it because I have so much work to do I don't know if I'll have time to film a video but definitely next Wednesday you guys should be expecting a video because I will be out of school and be completely free so yeah hopefully you enjoyed this video leave a like comment share you know the drill all my stuff is in the description so yeah thanks for watching